Residents and business owners shared their views on crime as TTPS hosted a town hall meeting in Crown Point District. TPAC and ePixel launched animation about goat race. Chief Secretary encourages Muslims to join the island's political discourse. And as the cruise ship season comes to an end, we'll tell you what cruise passengers preferred while in Tobago. Good evening. I am Kristen Salandi. Welcome to the Tobago Updates Television News for Thursday, April 11, 2024. To our top story. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, Crumb Point District, in collaboration with other protective services, conducted a town hall meeting last night at the Canaan Bonacord Community Center. Residents and business owners got the opportunity to voice their concerns regarding crime and other matters affecting the community. Ariana Scipio has the details. ACP Colossiezo welcomed other arms of national security. He noted that he planned to ensure that crime fighting was a collaborative initiative, emphasizing that no one person can fight crime. And therefore, we are very appreciative in terms of working with our partner in service, the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force, Trinidad and Tobago Fire Services, members of the airport authority, and all other supplemental arms of policing in terms of bringing together our issues of crime fighting. He stated that the Crumb Point area is under the radar of crime fighting. We have been looking and exploring of what has been taking place. We are well aware that within this area, in the Western Peninsula, as where many of the business, the engine room of growth and development for Tobago is booming. He said with growth and development comes an opportunity for crime and criminality, which is why the TTPS has been paying great attention to crime fighting strategies in the area. Representing Jade Monkey Bar and Grill, Sean Anthony expressed concern about the lack of police presence in the area. One of my pet peeves is really at the closing stage when, well, our arrangement with Crown Point is to lock up at 4 p.m., 4 a.m., sorry. And I really think at, um, at a security risk that um, between 1 and 4, I am urging for some serious police presence between 1 and 4 a.m. He was assured that this would be done. Lyndon Mack, a resident of the Canaan Bonacord area, shared what he would like to see from the TTPS. It's a different style and approach to police, policing in 2024. The model that we have now is not good enough. Senior Superintendent Rodel Kirk acknowledged that while identifying problems is good, he urges people to assist in providing solutions. He also highlighted that the station district of Crown Point achieved a decrease in criminal activity for this period of the year in comparison to last year, which he said means something is working. Ariana Scipio, Tobago Updates Television News. Extraction of the remaining bunker fuel on board the shipwrecked Gulfstream vessel is expected to occur on Sunday. Director of the Tobago Emergency Management Agency, Tima Allen Stewart, estimates that over 20,000 barrels of bunker fuel are still on board the vessel. Preparations are being made to facilitate that process. This report by Candice Jackson provided more details. Over 20,000 barrels of bunker fuel remain on board the Gulfstream vessel. On Sunday, the international company TNT Salvage hopes to extract all of it. Alan Stewart, director of TEMA, explained that it is a complicated process. That is going to be extracted first, um, being brought to shore, stored in, in frack tanks, and then uh, there is another process where you move it from there to the scab report onto a badge that's the plan going forward uh, we hope it holds you know sometimes these things are very um agile you know you make changes on the on the go systems are being set up to monitor every stage of the process and to respond in case of any eventuality stewart says the process is supposed to take up to 14 hours now that 14 hours could stretch out into days it all depends on the uh, uh, but you're looking at measurements in terms of uh suction and how long it will take. Um, there are many, um, the, the vessel itself 
is divided up into chambers. They take those into consideration, so you move from one chamber to the next. As part of the preparation process, several holes are being drilled into the hull of the vessel. They make the opening from the, as you know, the, 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 the ship has capsized, yes. so you have to get into those tanks, uh, getting from the hull into it, and then making another holes, other holes, openings in order to get to the tank itself. So that process takes time. It After the bunker fuel is extracted, exploring the possibility of moving the vessel from the reef would be considered. In the meantime, Stewart reported that they had cleaned up most of the oil from the affected beaches. However, oil remains large in some places of the rocky coastline that are difficult to access and in some rivers. As a result, he explained that the public should expect to see oil surfacing at times in the months ahead. Every now and again, there will be oil showing up on your beaches because there are oil that may have sunk, sunk in the sand. And as you have rough seas or high tides or inland water going out to sea, where those, some of these um, <clears throat> rivers are concerned, they are going to create a situation where they will, what is below the sand will be washed up. Authorities have been dealing with the oil spill since February 7th, when the vessel was discovered capsized on a reef near Cove Estate. No one has claimed responsibility for the vessel as yet. Candice Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News. The Trinidad and Tobago Inter-Island Transportation Company Limited, TTIT, management has notified users of its cargo service regarding the upcoming dry docking period for the MV Cargo Star. Scheduled for April 6 to 24, 2024, this statutory maintenance phase necessitates a temporary replacement vessel. Effective immediately, the MV Emprendedora has assumed the role of the interim vessel, having arrived in Trinidad yesterday. However, it is important to note that the MV Emprendedora will solely cater to cargo transportation needs, with passenger accommodations redirected to the passenger ferries. Sailing times are anticipated to depart from Port of Spain at 2 p.m. daily, with return journeys from Tobago commencing at approximately 4 a.m. the following day. Passengers are advised to secure their travel tickets through the FRX system specifically designed for the MV Cabo Star on the day of sailing. Still to come. TPAC and ePixel collaborated on an animation about the traditional goat race. Stay with us. Life is good with zero. Zero interest for six months. Zero down payments. Zero stress payment plan. That's right. With standards, my terms, we are putting the power of zero in your hands. Now, you can get that new sectional, fridge, stove, or TV for zero down. Pay zero interest later and enjoy a zero stress payment plan plus quick approval within 48 hours. Standards. Never beaten on quality and price. Prices. My name is Karma Mirage. As a lifelong entrepreneur, I often share the benefit of my experience with our young innovators and small businesses. Just as I strive to guide others, our constitution must also foster an environment for citizens to thrive. This begins with education catering to diverse learning styles and extends to establishing frameworks that support new enterprise. But are we doing enough? Constitutional reform needs your input by 15 April at constitutionalreform2024.gov.tt. It's your future, your constitution, your voice. You can now get whatever you need whenever you need it anywhere in Tobago with Tapago. Your meals, medication, groceries, and shopping all delivered directly to you. No more hassle, no more stress. Get the Tapago app today on Google Play or Apple App Store. That's T-A-P-P-O-G-O -P -P and let us deliver to you. Check our website at www.tapago.app or call the experts at 494-T-O-G-O -O and 484-4746. Tapago, relax. We will get it to you. Tapago's at your service.
how it's gonna go They better look up and look Cause this is your Then once again Welcome back. The Tobago Performing Arts Company, TPAC, has joined forces with ePixel Studios to produce an animated short film titled History, Hooves and Horns. The film showcases Tobago's rich cultural heritage through the lens of its iconic sport, goat racing. More in this report by Travisia Phillips. History, Hooves and Horns captures the essence of the Buku Goat Race Festival a renowned event annually attracting thousands of spectators and tourists to Tobago. The heartwarming film follows the journey of a young Malachi as he discovers his family's legacy in goat racing, a sport deeply rooted in Tobagonian tradition. It all started in 1925. Right there. Right outside they used to keep the goat race. At that time, Chan Street used to be called Village Street. It's the great Samuel Kalinda who started the whole thing. Jared Primer, film director and interim CEO at TPAC, expressed excitement about the collaboration and emphasized its role in showcasing Tobago's creative talent and commitment to artistic excellence. You could guess who that is? It's your handsome grandpa from back in the day. I was a big runner, you know. A jockey to be exact. Boy, this was the apex of excitement wrong Easter time. The best food. Apexel Studios, Tobago's pioneering animation studio, played a crucial role in bringing the unique story of goat racing to life. With a team of skilled animators, artists, and storytellers, the studio prioritizes creativity, quality, and client satisfaction. History, Hosts, and Horns is now available for viewing on ePixel Studios' Facebook page, offering audiences a glimpse into Tobago's vibrant cultural landscape through the magic of animation. Let me show you how we do it. The film features the voices of 14-year-old Chadisia Walker as young Malachi and Zari Kerr, a resident of Teapak, as his grandfather. A still from the short movie vividly depicts Tobago's goat racing brought to life through animation. Travisia Phillips, Tobago Updates Television News. With over 70 cruise ships calls this season, bringing upwards of 100,000 passengers, Cloyd Williams, president of the Tobago Maxi Taxi Drivers Association, found that many visitors were more interested in oil spill cleanup efforts and other seemingly mundane activities in Tobago. Speaking on the Good Morning Tobago show with Candice Jackson, he shared some insights into what cruise ship passengers are attracted to when they visit Tobago. Here is more. Authorities are worried about the impact of the oil spill on cruise ship passengers. But Cloyd Williams, president of the Tobago Maxi Taxi Drivers and Operators Association, stated that it was a highlight for them. And we were cautioned by somebody, don't pass them by the oil spill. And they wanted to pass them. And we passed them down to Pitichu, down to Lambo. They saw the oil, the, the rocks were black and so on. And they were very, very excited about it, you know. Mm -hmm. So 
out of evil come out good. Williams explained that some visitors wanted to assist and donate to the cleanup efforts. He also pointed out that Tobago offers a beautiful environment for visitors to enjoy, but many are interested in the daily lives of Tobagonians and activities that locals often take for granted. We are living here and some of the things that we are interested in, or we are not interested in the visitors are interested, the visitors are interested in, right? Mm -hmm. um, they look at people walking on the road, using the walker, you know what I mean? Paving the road, cleaning the oil, you know what I mean? And they are very much interested in some of these things, running the goats. For this reason, Williams believes that there should be efforts to create situations where crucial passengers can have a more immersive experience in Tobago. Maybe in the garden and that kind of thing. You, it become localized, it become part of you and part of the tourists. It's an experience that they will never forget. Additionally, he said that places like Pigeon Point should be maximized whenever there's a cruise ship in harbor to create a cultural village of sorts. Whether Pigeon Point can be like a day for the tourists, because we normally have jazz festival in Pigeon Point, whether you can set up your tents in Pigeon Point. So today we know we have a big ship is coming. Why not make um, Pigeon Point the day for the cruise ship, you know what I mean? Where we have our cultural activity, where people bathe, they come back, listen to the culture, eat the local food. Overall, Williams commented that the visitors he interacted with had a positive experience. However, he noted that a lot of work needs to be done to create a good tourism product that cruise ship visitors can enjoy. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News. Yesterday, Trinidad and Tobago celebrated Eid al-Fitr, which marked the end of Ramadan for Muslims around the world. In Tobago, Eid celebrations were held at the Masjid at Tauba Mosque in Lowlands. Among the guests at the event were Chief Secretary Fali Agustin and Minority Leader Kelvin Morris, who expressed appreciation for the Muslim community and its contributions to society. Ariana Scipio has the story. Chief Secretary Fale Augustin reminisced on the many times he visited the mosque, noting the Muslim community's growth and how they provided a safe space for the youth. He then encouraged them not just to provide a safe space for the youth, but to be a part of political discourse and change society. And the rest of the Muslim community here in Tobago continue to be a part of our political discourse because you have a role to play, even as an island as we grapple with what we want in terms of our autonomy. You have to be a part of that conversation too. Augustine stated that they have to demonstrate that the island's faith-based communities have a voice and take leadership in a way that has not been done in a long time. Minority leader Kelvon Morris expressed gratitude to the Muslim community for its contribution over the years, noting the many Muslims who have made a great impact in Tobago. Morris challenged them to continue expanding and teaching their ways of discipline and respect, stressing particularly on discipline, underscoring the country's crime situation. And it is in that context that I really believe that it's important that we inculcate in the nationhood, in the consciousness, of every citizen that quality that principle of discipline he spoke about the genocide in gaza and expressed support for the government's call for an immediate ceasefire a stance also taken by the chief secretary morris also raised the issue of the four-year-old child from aruka who was decapitated earlier this week and called for a spiritual intervention as he believes like the other religious groups muslims have a role to play in crime fighting Ariana Scipio, Tobago Updates Television News. You're watching the Tobago Updates Television News. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Tobago Updates. More news after this. Stay with us.
Deltec Distributors Best Deal 3 pounds 4 goat, chicken, turkey, beef 5 meats 3 pounds each $300 Best Deal Or you could try 5 pounds pork, goat, chicken, turkey, beef 5 meats 5 pounds each $500 Best Deal $20 delivery Call me now 359 or 237-0102 Order online at www.deltechdistributors.com Or check with me Mainwood Aga Tobago Deltec Distributors Best Deal Coconuts Cafe, the buffet restaurant that specializes in all your tasty local dishes for breakfast and for lunch. Breakfast includes coconut bake and sada roti served with chokers, bulge oil and sausages in tomato sauce. Not forgetting beef and cheese pies, shepherd's pie, macaroni pie and rice in various styles. Meats served in a variety of flavors, garden salads and pasta the salads. All this accompanied by fruit juices, coconut water, your choice of a great combination to appease your taste buds. So call us today to order as we are here to accommodate your busy schedules or if you are having a cooking day off. You're the prize. You're the queen. You may know me as Blaze. Through my TV and radio shows, you've invited me into your lives. Now, the media's freedom to speak out on behalf of citizens to reveal the facts fearlessly is enshrined in our Constitution. It means we can openly demand accountability for the performance of public officers and authorities. Should your Constitution demand more too? Submit your views to Constitutional Reform 2024.gov.tt by the 15th of April. It's your future, it's your constitution, and it's your voice. Thanks for staying with us. During yesterday's Eid celebrations at the Masjid at Tauba Mosque in Lulans, Iman Khalel Rahman shared some encouraging words about the importance of creating change, starting with oneself. Here is more. Khalil Rahman said that if people want change in the world, they need to start with themselves. If we want change, we need to focus on ourselves first. Whatever in this month that has passed us, this blessed month, and whatever it is in your lives, each and every one of us, we know ourselves. We know what it is that brings us closer to our Creator. He stated that whatever good these people want to do will bring them closer to the Creator, advising them to hold on to it and keep it in their hearts because this is where change starts. When it is that we have love in our heart, when we have that mercy and that peace and that forgiveness in our heart, we will change. Because if we want our Creator to forgive us, to forgive me, I need to learn how to forgive. Iman Rahman pointed out that the same goes for love and mercy, which he said individuals need to try and hold on to because everyone wants change and the best for the community, country and the world. However, it starts with them. All the effort that we are making that each individual here is making from so many different backgrounds. It is only through the help of our Creator that we could be successful. He stated that no one man can change a world or guide a nation, urging people to remember the Creator first, focus on themselves, and then focus on others to create change. Iman Rahman then highlighted that Allah created everyone differently, whether it be skin color or background. However, not to separate persons, but for them to unite and learn from each other. Ariana Scipio, Tobago Updates Television News. 
The National Transformation Alliance alleges there is a correlation between increased domestic violence and governmental actions affecting the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. They criticize the shutdown of the TTPS app and online reporting and the weakening of the gender-based violence unit, suggesting they aid criminals in abusing women and children. Former Police Commissioner Gary Griffiths, effective initiatives are contrasted with their removal and the subsequent negative impact. The party emphasizes the importance of online reporting for anonymous assistance in domestic violence cases. The NTA says recent tragic incidents like the decapitation of a four-year-old by her stepfather underscore the consequences of weakened the TTPS measures. The alliance calls for urgent general elections, encouraging citizens to choose leaders wisely. The weather report is up next. Tobago Glass Supplies has been a leading name for over 37 years in the glass and aluminum market in Tobago. We provide an extensive range of high quality innovative aluminum and glass products for commercial and residential use. Competitive prices with superior and professional services by committed employees who are guided by rigid quality standards. Tobago Glass Supplies specializes in the manufacture and installation of glass and aluminum products products that are essential to today's homeowners and the business environment. We are engaged in marketing, sales and installation of a variety of products. These ranges from windows and doors to necessities such as mirrors for homes and vehicles, designed and manufactured in-house or imported. Scrub Ties brings to you our organic fat dissolving shots. Yes, guys, our lemon butter shot breaks down stubborn fat, tightens any loose skin while increasing your metabolism. No side effects, no downtime. We also offer cavitation, cellulite treatment, but breast, hip dip fillers, weight loss, fertility IVs, and much more. Contact us on 495 6624 or follow us on Instagram at Scrub Ties Buddy Contouring. It's an ocean of love All that we align to the stars up above Let we dance now Take a chance now With me And we go jump till morning Look the moon gone sleeping Tell them we not leaving Till the last drop of a canal is Madness in the capital so For the weather update from the TNT Met office. The weather will be mainly fair tonight, though an occasional overnight shower may occur. Temperatures are expected to drop to around 25 degrees Celsius. For tomorrow, the forecast predicts mainly sunny skies with the slight haze and breezy conditions despite the small chance of one or two isolated showers. Temperatures will rise to 32 degrees Celsius with a heat index of 37 degrees.
Seas will be moderate with wave heights reaching up to 2.5 meters in open waters and staying below 1.5 meters occasionally becoming choppy in sheltered areas. Sunrise is at 5.53 and the sunset will be at 6.14. And that's how we end this evening's newscast. Let's recap the headlines before we go. Residents and business share their view on crime as the TTPS hosts a town hall meeting in Crown Point District. TPAC and ePixel launched animation about goat race. The Chief Secretary encourages Muslims to aid their voices to the island's political discourse and cruise passengers prefer to assist with oil spill cleanup while in Tobago. I am Kristen Salandi. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great night.